Okay, so resize. Resize, and of course, um, I forgot to add a couple of things to it, like like the menus and stuff like that, like these. Yeah. So uh, I'm just gonna quickly pause the video while I do this, and I'll see you back in just a bit. Okay, I'm back. So um, I uh, modified the markup for the post page according to the changes I made to the index page. And that included adding uh, the, the buttons for the top navigation, the extra classes for the container and sidebar, and I also included the, um, uh, the JavaScript down below the page. Okay, so let's see. This is its initial state, looks good. The next one, okay, next one looks good. And let's see the third one. This is where things might start to get a bit tricky. So images. Okay, video container. Mm, okay, so, so far, pretty good. Now let's see the very last one. The very last break. Um, we have like Um, the image, the preview image, which is quite frankly too small. So I'm going to hide it. Article full image. All right. Um, what is up with this? Article meta extra, height auto. Why is this spaced like that? Oh, okay. So we do have a small issue here. Let's see, article meta extra. Okay, so with height auto, line height 42 pixels. All right, that's uh, that's just way too much. Okay, so I'm going to change it to 21 pixels. Okay, that's better. Okay, the headings look good. Block quote images. Okay, there is one thing that we need to do, and that concerns the images. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this. Um, a line left and align right. Yeah, I'm gonna change their float to none and also get rid of the um, left and right margins. All right, let's see. Okay, so this is a bit weird. It uh, seems to to just contain the to just inherit those margins from somewhere. 
Okay, uh, I'm just gonna pause right here till I can figure this out. Uh, I don't want to waste your time. I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So apparently, uh, that inherit was messing things up. So as soon as I got rid of that, everything just worked fine. So um, I'm just gonna do a margin top and bottom, uh, like uh, one and a half m's and zero for the sides. Yeah. Okay, um, so let's see what else. And actually, if we have on the line, uh, if we have a paragraph plus a line left, or a paragraph plus a line right, uh, margin top should be zero. I forgot we have some uh, BRs after those paragraphs. All right, so now it's much better. Okay, good. And also, let's go ahead and add a line none here. P plus a line none. All right. Okay, captions. Same deal. The video container. Uh, we got to make that responsive. Buttons. Okay, page article comments. Let's see. Okay. Mm -hmm. A bit of an issue here. Okay, and some issues here. Okay. I forgot one thing in the footer though. Social icons, clear fix. Just uh, to fix this bit. And also we have a scroll here. Why do we have a scroll? we have a scroll because of the video mm, or not hmm. all right um, so first of all let's see about that uh, that video yeah so we can uh, so we can get that out of the way and uh, give up that scroll all right, so uh, for the fitvid.js file, you can go to fitvid.js.com and you can download it on GitHub. I already done that and I have it in my um, JS folder. So let's uh, quickly go and reference that. Okay, so jQuery dot fit bits dot js okay so once we did that uh, all we have to do now is just uh, go to our uh, scripts.js yeah and we're gonna say jQuery uh, we're gonna target the video container Okay, and we're gonna say fit, oops, fit vids. Okay, let's see. Yep, 
there it is so resize and as you can see it resizes automatically which is exactly what we want okay so now we also got rid of that um, scroll bar okay uh, so where were we buttons yeah we had some issues with with the nested comments yes so you know quickly let's get rid of some of the uh, some of the things in the comments so I have comments list I have list item I have article I have header and inside the header I have a before element which I'm gonna reset its content to nothing so we're just hiding that uh, that counter there okay and the last thing was right here what if we just delete this and make it a bit simpler like that and like that Yeah, that way we don't have to worry about uh, extra space. All right, that's good. And I just want to say I'm not trying to cut corners here, but I don't want to spend a, a ridiculous amount of time on on the HTML and CSS part because I'm pretty sure most of you are uh, interested in the uh, HTML part. Okay, um, well, that's about it, guys. Uh, that concludes the HTML bit of our tutorial. So, uh, thank you for watching so far. I hope you found some uh, interesting uh, stuff in the tutorial and you didn't get bored or anything. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video. And after that, we'll begin with the uh, WordPress conversion. So thanks for watching again. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.